I wanted to create this video to answer some questions that I get on a fairly regular basis regarding styles in InDesign. And a lot of people struggle with styles, especially when they don't work as they expect them to, basically when styles break. And I wanted to go over a couple of scenarios that you could run into and the reason behind why the styles may or may not be working as you would expect them to. So I've created a couple examples of text. You'll see that each one of these is a separate text frame that I'm using here. And I'm just going to double click to switch to my type tool so we can see how I'm formatting these. Now if you look over here in your paragraph styles panel, you can see that in this text here I have a style applied called body. And if you go back to basic paragraph, that'll switch the formatting. And if then if you go to body, then it'll format it as I want it to using Adobe Caslon Pro instead of Minion Pro, right? So that's really basic use of a style and it's important to understand that paragraph styles should be used first and they should be used to globally format at the paragraph level, just like I'm doing here. Now, if I go down to this next example, you can see that body is in fact applied to this text. But you can see we have a plus sign here and that simply means that there's a local override. And depending on the override that you've applied, when you hover over the name of this style, you'll notice we get a tooltip telling us what the override is. And you can see in this case, I've applied some tracking to this text of negative 40. So just understand that the plus sign indicates an override beyond what the paragraph style is defining. Now, if you want to get rid of that, you can either hold down your Option key or Alt key on your keyboard and click on that style to clear out that override. Or you can come down here to the bottom of the Styles panel and click on this button here, which is also the Clear Overrides button, and that'll clear out that formatting. Now, let's come down here. I also have the same text, and when I click inside of here, you can see that body is applied. And you're like, well, wait a second. Didn't you tell me that body was applied up here? Well, I did in fact tell you that. And when I click down here, I can tell that the formatting is different, but look at that, no overrides. Why would that be? Well, nine times out of 10, if you go to your character styles panel, you will see that a character style is also applied to that text. Now, I always like to tell people that character styles always win. Whenever you have a paragraph style and a character style applied, the character style is always going to win. So if you ever have a situation like that where you're like, boy, body's applied, but it doesn't look the way I want it to, go over to your character styles and you'll probably see that there's a character style applied, oftentimes inadvertently. And so to fix that problem, just do a select all or select the range of text you want to remove that from, click on none, and now in your paragraph styles, it's still going to have the paragraph style applied, but it's going to look the way you want it to. Now, character styles are used to format isolated areas of text. And if I open my character styles panel, you see I have bold applied here, italic applied here, bold italic applied here, and a character style called highlight applied here. And so that's how character styles should in fact be used. Now, you could do this really interesting thing in InDesign, which is what's called a nested style. A nested style allows you to automatically format certain areas of text using a character style within the paragraph style. And to show you this real quickly, if I edit this, you can see that in my drop caps and nested styles, I'm applying bold through one colon. And that's what is formatting that text for me. You can see that if I type section 1256, you'll see that it's still going to format it the way that I want it to. Now down here, if you look at this, you can see that body lead in, which is also applied up here, is applied to this text. But look at that. It's not doing what I want it to. Hmm. Why might that be? Well, check it out. If I go to my character styles and you pay attention, you'll see that the bold character style is manually applied to that text. And it's important to understand that a manually applied character style will always override an automatically applied character style, such as a nested or grep style. So to fix the problem, select that text and click on none. And now the formatting is going to be the way you want it to be. 
Well, that's it for this episode of InDesign Secrets. Be sure to check out InDesignSecrets.com for thousands of InDesign articles and tutorials and sign up to receive our free weekly InDesign Tip of the Week. Thanks for learning with us.